hi everyone so today in this video we will do animation and this is going to be our final part of this animation tutorial series so without further ado let's begin so here as you can see in the last video we added some lights in our scene and then added some materials and textures to our 3d models now one more thing i want to mention here is that i used the same text image and added at the back side of this bottle and did the same thing for this box also as you can see here i separately rendered this image and then added at the front side of the box and for the back side i used the same text image now the first thing i'm going to add camera in our scene so go to side view hit shift s and select this option cursor to world origin now hit shift a and choose a camera and add camera now let's move this camera on y axis so hit g and then y and move it over here let's also move this camera on z axis so hit g then z and then move it over here all right now let's also rotate this camera pointing toward the main subject so hit r then z and then hit minus 90. let's also rotate this camera on x axis so go to the camera view hit zero and then hit r then x and then rotate this all right now let's duplicate this camera again so hit shift d and duplicate this and move it over here now hit n to bring this side panel and here i'm gonna change the location of this camera of z value of this camera to zero and for x rotation of this camera to 90. all right now let's create first animation clip so here as you can see we have bottle and box so let's add a empty object let's disable this box first and let's add an empty object so hit shift a go to empty and add a plane axis let's also move this empty object in this bottle collection now select this complete mesh and select this empty object and hit ctrl plus p and select this option object keep transform let's do the same thing for box also so hit shift a go to empty and add a plane axis now select this box and select this empty object and hit ctrl plus p then select this option keep transform all right now let's duplicate this bottle collection let's disable this two collection all right now for the first clip we only need box and this bottle so let's go to the camera view now i'm gonna select the empty objects and here i'm gonna rotate this empty object so hit r then x then hit minus 90 then again r then z and hit 90 all right now again select this empty object and move it on a z axis over here so hit g and then shift z and move it over here now let's rotate this empty objects so i'm gonna rotate this on z axis so hit r then z let's add the keyframes at zero for this position and rotation so select this empty object go to the item and here right mouse click insert keyframes for this location and then for this rotation let's do the same thing for this empty object add keyframes for this location and then for this rotation now let's go add 50 frames and here i'm gonna select this empty object again and i'm gonna move this at the center of world origin here and i'm also gonna rotate this r then z and i'm gonna keep this like this and then let's add a keyframe again so 
the right mouse click add a keyframe do the same thing for this bottle empty so this is how it looks all right now one more thing let's select this empty object select this keyframes right click and change interpolation mode to linear do the same thing for this box so select this keyframes change the interpolation mode to linear now let's play this and see it again now let's go add 40 frames and here i'm gonna open this face of the box like this way so let's add a keyframe for this rotation first and then go at 70 frames and here i'm gonna open this so r then z and i'm gonna keep at this angle here add one more time this rotation now select this bottle and let's move this bottle on a z axis so select this and at one and at 70 frames let's move this bottle on a z axis so move it over here and also rotate this slightly like this and let's add a keyframe again so add a keyframe for this rotation and for this location now select this complete keyframes and change the interpolation mode to linear do the same thing for this box also we are, which we have already done do the same thing for this top face of the box interpolation mode change it to linear now let's play and see the first clip so that's pretty much about the first clip now let's move to the next clip so for the next clip i'm gonna disable these two collections and i'm gonna enable this collection also i'm gonna go to the scene properties and under the camera i'm gonna change it to the second camera all right let's create our second clip so for the second clip i'm gonna select this bottle and i'm gonna rotate this like this let's add a keyframe for this rotation so i'm gonna insert keyframes at zero i'm gonna go at 30 frames and here i'm gonna rotate this on a z axis like this let's add a keyframe for this angle again so insert keyframes so this is how it looks all right now next thing we wanna go at 50 frames and here i'm gonna rotate this bottle on a y axis like this and again on x axis too and also on z axis a little bit and add a keyframe for this rotation let's play this and see it again so this is how it looks you can do any kind of rotation animation uh, this is just for an example all right that's pretty much about the second clip now let's create our third clip so for the third clip i'm gonna disable this collection and i'm gonna enable this collection and now let's go at the top view so hit seven and here i'm gonna click on this option which is snapping let's duplicate this bottle so hit shift d duplicate select this bottle and hit shift d and duplicate this and keep it at this position let's duplicate this one more time and keep at the same position now duplicate this one more time and keep it behind this bottle let's duplicate this one more time and keep it 
at the same position. Now at zero frames, let's add a keyframe for this location. So just insert the keyframes for all these bottles. Now at 30 frames. I'm gonna select all this bottle and let's move this bottle on our axis. So go to the camera view first, so hit zero and let's hit G then Y and then move it on our axis a little bit. Okay, that's good. Now let's add a keyframe for this location for all these bottles. Now, go at 30 frames again and select this second bottle. I'm gonna move this over here. Let's select this third bottle and this third bottle I'm gonna move over here and this fourth bottle I'm gonna move it here and this fifth bottle I'm gonna move it over here all right now let's add keyframes for this location again so select the second bottle and add a keyframe for this location do the same thing for the next bottles so this is how it looks You have got the idea about how it looks and uh, if you want to do some more animations you can go ahead and do that so that's pretty much about the animation i hope you learned something now one more thing i want to tell you here is uh, render settings so go to the render settings change the render engine to cycles and i kept render samples to 50 and uh, one more thing here in the color management change this to very high contrast all right and let's go to the export settings so here in the output cell keep file format to png because this will export the animation in png sequence all right now one more thing i want to mention here is when you export the first clip just click on just enable these two collections and choose your last frame which is 70 so here in the end add 70 and then go ahead and render this animation for the second clip do the same thing check your last keyframe which is at 50 so here at the end add 50 and render your second clip now for the third clip just enable this collection and check your last keyframe which is at 30 so at the end at 30 and render this out again so that's about the render settings and that's pretty much about this video i hope you learned something and if you really enjoy hit a like if you are new subscribe to this channel also support me on patreon and as a reward you will get all project files i have already uploaded this project file on patreon so check it out again if you want to try it and experiment it by yourself so you can go ahead and check the link in the description so yeah that's it i will see you in the next video bye